Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with a another episode of Arcane, Season 1, because that's all we have. Episode 2. Some mysteries are better left unsolved. It, it was about, I think, a couple weeks now that I watched the first episode, but yeah, there's something fishy going on. Um, we got um, the dad who's taking care of his two kids and then but they're they're kind of clearly there's been some issue with like there's like the top more wealthy world and then the slums people who kind of get the scraps and stuff and then so they went the kids went up above and tried to steal from this well-known wealthy inventor and um little jinx came across some interesting crystals um and other supplies that they got thrown into the river that maybe they'll collect later. But she still has one of these crystals that's, as we saw, very powerful. And how they use that will be interesting. Will this be what she used to build her future gun or um, Vi's gloves? I don't know. We'll get to that point. But um, obviously, I have no idea what their younger backstories are. I only know basically the characters as they are in game. I actually didn't even know they were relatives related but as i saw said in my first episode i i followed early on with some of the league of legends lore and backstories and i know about some of the relations um like lux and garen and ash and trindamir that sort of thing but yeah there's there's tons of new characters or champions that came out that there's so much obviously complexities and depths to these backstories and characters that um some has been shared and some now has been brought to um, light with this so it's exciting to see what's going to happen um and then we have this mysterious uh, evil guy who freaking killed his cat by pumping up this rat to destroy it so we don't know who this mystery man is at least i don't um so i'm excited to potentially meet some other characters from league of legends game that i'm familiar with to in in the show yeah so on that note let's just get grit right to it and see what this episode has in store for us. So let's go. You really went to the Undercity to get these? Weren't you afraid? <gasps> a little danger is worth the risk, don't you think? <gasps> I got spoiled by the, 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 the CC, by the captions. Ah. <sighs> Hello? Hi, uh. I love that we get the backside of this. Oh my gosh. So this is young Jason Caitlin. I didn't know they I mean, I don't know if they're related or a couple or friends. Man, I'm instantly cold because of that. Oh, well here, this is the mom. Oh. Mm. Oh my gosh, that dude has like no clothes on. Oh my gosh, his hands. Uh oh. Oh, wait, wait. <gasps> Ooh, teleported like Rise. Is he supposed to be a sorcerer like Rise? It's a much nicer place to be than freezing snow. Or is that supposed to be recall? I have so many questions. <laughs> Was that supposed to be Caitlyn too? Hey, hey, be careful with that, please. I believe someone should Jace. have said that earlier. And who's that? Science, I guess. Uh, science. Object. Science didn't require illegal equipment. He sent me here to ensure that anything dangerous is removed. Uh oh. Safe. Includes you. Uh. What? What? How am I dangerous? Oh snap. Rip. This went in a complete different direction. Oh. He has. Oh, so was that Jace when he was a kid? Oh. <gasps> is that Heimerdinger? <gasps> Imprisonment. What a curious principle. We can find the physical body, yet the mind is still I free. do love a good conundrum. Oh. I remember the first time I saw you at the Academy. Professor Heimerdinger, I, I believe I've discovered something truly great to harness magic. He's so cute. Magic? Yes. No. No? <laughs> the arcane is dangerous, Jason. I'm close to a break, I though just... I know it. 
Give him a little hug. How old are you, my boy? Oh, is Heimerdinger well, helping him? I theorize you'll get away with, um, how do you say, a slap on the wrist. Oh, I think he's looking out for his best intentions. Oh, they are grown up a bit. No, I can't tell. She's... Remind me oh. why we bother with this dump. Ew, he just fully flicked the booger. Cool. Maybe just don't take powder next time. Shut your face. Oh, get wrecked, noob. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Give me a name. <gasps> Ew. You should see that. Oh, piss. oh my gosh. <gasps> I wasn't expecting this show to be jumpy. Oh no, don't ruin their arcade! I hope you have your crystals hidden somewhere. Oh no! Oh cool! <laughs> oh! Clank, clank. Always on the run. What a life, man. There's gotta be a <gasps> Echo! We need to hide those crystals. Yeah, no shit. <gasps> Language, little lady. Oh, yet I remain the poorest Madada. Excellent Pretty. choice, Counselor Madada. Counselor Madada. <laughs> so she's a council person. That's, it, it, well, that's a child's toy. <laughs> Good. Ambition. Darling, he nearly blew up our daughter. Jace had nothing to do with that. He oh, was oh, Caitlin. To help him. We've known Jace for years. So, oh. Besides where his so proper and If anyone is meant to speak up for him, it's us. We all know how that ended. Just protecting you kids. I'm protecting our people. We look out for each other. <laughs> that always little been. old lady. This will blow up. Do I look afraid? Oh. No. You look weak. Oh, snap. Vander's got to deal with the enforcers. What deal? For your birthday, mm. counselor. Oh, Mel, this is too kind. Aww. I'm told it was built only for the shop. And I bought you some ginkgo nuts. Ah, don't you know I'm allergic? What are you trying to do? Kill an old man? <laughs> Whoa, look at her neck piece. Wow. Oh, he's so cute. I want a Heimerdinger toy. Why are they making it so dark, man? Contribution we can expect. If you were a scientist, you'd know you can't make a prototype without breaking Aww. a few wrenches. <laughs> 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 Uh-oh. I was trying to create magic. Has anyone even tried it before? Timer. The arcane is the curse of our world. My race was nearly destroyed by Think of the wonders we could create. Let me prove- Enough! Uh-oh. He knows but something. How can you? That's a burden that only I here carry. I've seen this power in the wrong hands. Mm. It corrupts. Consumes. The ethos is clear. He must be banished from Piltover. No. Please let me speak! Is that his mom? As a lower house, my voice doesn't carry much weight here. My son isn't in his right mind. His entire life, he's chased an impossible dream. Please, let him come home. But I can sympathize with a young man's dream to change the world. Perhaps in this matter, a lesser sentence may suffice. I move that Jace be summarily expelled from Aww. the academy and remanded to the care of his parents. Oh. <laughs> she like controls him. That's hilarious. You may take your son home. Dude, that's intense. If we're gonna do a blackout, a spotlight on you, that's I guess that's one way to make people nervous. You're looking for four children. The ones running circles around Pildova's finest. I'm about to make your day. I still don't know who that guy is. You need to let it go. My own family won't help me. I'll find someone who will. Oh no. I must admit, he's still. It's Victor? If Victor's <gasps> ideas didn't excite the imagination. Could these stones really invoke magic? 
Lancelier. Come tomorrow morning, his research will be safely disposed of. Victor, <laughs> you're gonna keep it, right? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. No, I like Victor. I like playing him. <gasps> That's cool. What? There's a monster inside all of us. What? Uh oh. I'd like to let you in on a very important secret I learned when I was about your age. Power. Real power doesn't come to those who are born strongest or fast. It comes to those who will do anything to achieve. Is this gonna make Scion? Or who? Oh, he full on took it himself. Deckard? Oh, I just keep looking for characters from the game. We can't be friends anymore. So why are you out here? I'm a misfit too, I suppose. Come inside, Caitlin. Now. Oh. Don't be mean to him. I just wanted to explain. I think you've done enough. Rude. I can't tell if they are just concerned about their daughter's safety or just. Did they take anything dangerous? Hard to say. Afraid. The culprits must be apprehended. We're doing our best, Counselor. Do whatever it takes. Turn the embassies upside down if you have to. Pushies. I'll take the strongest shit you got. Rude. Oh, that's cool. A little alarm system. That's cute. I hope they're gone by the end of that. Can't tell if it's man or machine in there. I ran into an old friend of yours. <laughs> he had some stories. You weren't always the peacekeeper, were you? Rude, what a waste. Yeah, well, you can't escape shame if I had to put them on again. Cast irons, well, it's hard to clean. Wow, tense. Oh no! She's trying so hard. Oh, her little baby arms. Hurry up, dude, get out of there. Oh, he didn't hear any falling. But we all know there is a crime behind every coin that passes through this place. Dude, how the heck do you expect them to make money? Well, forgot to bury. Rude. Uh, slap him silly. And I'm gonna bury the lot of you. I want powder to have more than that, and I'm willing to fight for it. Aww. If I hadn't, your parents would still be alive. Oh. Nobody wins in war, Vi. No. Caitlin. Oh, Victor. Someone's had to. Oh my gosh. Problem? Only because you signed your notes. Every page, I might add. A little egotistical. <laughs> Is that no why you one came? believed me? Nobody's ever believed in me. I didn't have the benefits of a patron or a name. I simply Aww. believed in myself. When you're going to change the world, don't ask for permission. Oh, Victor, you just saved his life in more ways than one. It's Victor. I think the subtitle is spoiled because we weren't supposed to know that, I think, till then. What makes you different makes you strong. Always remember that, okay? What a cute little face. What the hell were you thinking? Uh oh. It's so cool. My heart is tied to mine. Uh oh. Is it by turning yourself in?
Well, this episode was really good. Um, we got introduced to some more characters. Um, Jace, Caitlin, Victor, Heimerdinger. Um, it was a lot of fun seeing that. A lot of interesting elements going on here and I'm excited. There's obviously this underground guy that obviously has these evil intentions vibe going on and he's up to something. He's created this concoction that makes someone bestial strength and um, almost like a, a hunger or rage or something. So I'm curious to see what Deckard or what this, what the creature has turned into. Is it a character we're familiar with or is it just some monst monstrosity? Um, and if I'm familiar with who this person is, I don't know their name yet. So there's that part of the story. There's obviously, you know, Jace and his magic, um, now like Victor and Jace working on how science can achieve to harness magic, which is a really cool thing. Um, but obviously Heimerdinger see that, seen that in the past and is scared about it. So obviously he's aware, I, I don't know if it's, if they were suggesting that science had the capabilities of magic or if he was just saying he's seen people with the arcane and that they have come and, and they were destructive i think that's the issue is that um jace has seen the good side of it arcane being used for good and bringing about returning life and rescuing and, and, and saving people and heimerdinger has seen the destructive side of it and people destroying and, and conquering and using it for for evil um so i think that's why he worries i i don't think he's necessarily the, fi the fact of using science to harness magic, but just magic in general. So I, I'm curious, obviously Jace has a good heart and I think that's always the point is people seeing the capabilities of something and every, anything can be taken, like even science as we're seeing. And I think that might be the, the part of it is that we're seeing science can be used for evil with this other dark side. So that's kind of the, the other side of it is that with great power <laughs> comes great responsibility. Just kidding. but. Um, that anything with with power, with capabilities to do great things can be used for good or evil and can be used to control or to save, to create balance. So I am anticipating that Victor and Jace with his um, research will create and be able to harness magic and show that it can be used for good. And maybe to fight this science gone bad villainous monstrosity sir mr man i don't remember the name of um so that's one dynamic and then obviously um now the whole shabam is vi having been turned herself in which i think the dad has oh, i'm spacing names sorry the dad has just i think come to catch on what's going on but it's kind of too late Although, is the person, we don't know actually, busting through the door, is it going to be, is it going to be the enforcers or is it going to be the dad catching her before, you know? But she's like, what other chance do I have? Like, turning myself in is going to protect all these people and they won't be hunted down anymore. Yeah, some interesting things going on. I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, these new characters are obviously fun. It's a lot of fun for me, though, to see the, the, the champions, the character, playable characters see them portrayed in the show so i definitely want like a heimerdinger stuffed toy and just like pet his little head it's so cute i completely i see where he's coming from it's just fear and and you know seeing the bad that can come from things and the council is very interesting too that that main character i can't space her name it was something unique um mela mela dara or something like that um meladora but she she was a really interesting character i i I can't tell if she's, if there is like a lead council person or if she just has persuasion over that older guy that's a, the lead councilman, or maybe they all hold the same power. I'm not sure, but it's interesting. And the whole like council scene was very like intimidating. Like you wouldn't want to get caught and have to face them because you're literally in the spotlight in this dark room and you're just having to face your crimes and hearing voices condemn you. So that's fun. Good idea. <laughs> Um, but gosh, and yeah, this is the severity, like literally Victor saved Jace for her killing himself. Like it, I was, I kind of like brushed over that cause I couldn't tell if he was actually doing that or not, but nope, he, he was planning on doing that. And Victor literally walked in at the right moment. Um, but he's like, I have no, I don't know what my destination destiny is. My, all my friends are gone. My whole purpose in life is taken from me. So he's pretty, pretty down to dumps. That's like the lowest he can go. So. Victor literally saved his life there. 
whether he knew it or maybe he not did, maybe he didn't. But yeah, this show is uh, starting to ramp up a little bit more, um, kind of tying some things together, giving us some more context, bringing in some more characters. I'm liking the vibes, the voice acting is phenomenal, the art style is very interesting, intriguing, and the storylines are keeping me invested and interested. So, so far, very well done. I'm pleased with it. Did not expect League of Legends to come out with a show, but there they've done it. Um, I think we all like to see the, the potential of what video games that we love and play can have these other sides of it through these uh, shows and movies. And obviously we have a history of having video games turned into movies and have them be crap or not very good or disappointing and to the larger population. But I feel like Arcane has seemed to touch a lot of people, whether they're fans of League or not. So overall, very pleased with the episode. I'm looking forward to the next one. I hope you are too. I thank you guys for watching and supporting. If you want to further support, give that video a thumbs up. And also you can hit that subscribe button if you want to know when that next video goes live. That's the way to do it. Um, yeah, and I guess I'll leave it at that. Thanks so much guys. And I'll see you on the next one.